Good morning and welcome to Grace Community Church. I'm Pastor Kim, and if this is your first Sunday worshiping with us, please leave record of your presence by either leaving a comment or sending me an email. We're really glad you're with us today. As far as, far as announcements are um, concerned, this morning we have a cabinet meeting at 1030. So if you're tuned in right now and you're supposed to be in a meeting, go ahead and hop on over. Worship will be here afterward. At 11.30, we have a congregational meeting. Email invitations with the link for the virtual meeting have been sent out. If you are not on our email list, then let myself or Mary Jo know ASAP because the purpose of this meeting is to elect a nominating committee for next year's cabinet officers. And well, if you're not there, you might just get nominated. I'm just saying. And it is a huge joy for me to give you the latest news on Camp Tamarack. Um, many of us have been eagerly waiting for the news of the state of the camp after the Creek Fire. So I'm going to share with you something that Wade Hobson shared on Facebook last night. Firefighters clearly were there and fought and saved the camp. They wrapped all the buildings and RVs in fire resistant material built hand and dozer lines, laid hose, and put out fires, and we're starting in the flat trailer um, that we're starting in the flat trailer that we use to haul the big stuff and tent platforms. There are hand lines, dozer brakes, and hose all through camp. They also used our fire hose and the water in our tank. There is some minor damage to tent platform four and an unknown amount of melted plastic pipe between the water tank and the springs. I don't have the words to express my gratitude to the firefighters, but they truly were angels to us when we needed them. Thank you for all of the prayers for our beloved camp. They were answered. That said, it is very sobering to drive up through the blackened sections of forest and see all of the homes and cabins that were lost. The folks who had lives and memories in those places and the forest itself will need our prayers and support as the mountain community works towards recovery. I'm getting lots of offers for many directions to help. At this time, with the forest closure restrictions in place, we will button up camp for win winter. In the spring, if COVID-19 concerns allow and the forest is deemed safe so we can hold camps again, we will need lots of help in a short period of time to get ready. Stay tuned and I'll be hollering. Whew, what joyful news. I invite you to center yourself for worship and thank you for being with us today.